Stephen Irumba was the Prime Minister of Toro Kingdom between 2006-2008. He is a livestock farmer in Ichegegwa district and a public policy consultant in the United Kingdom. In 2016, the office of the Prime Minister began resettling refugees and Ugandans who were evicted from Tanzania. They were resettled on a 200-acre piece of land at Kiaka Settlement in Ichegoga District. Irumba claims to own the land. We should enforce the law. This is why we went in the struggle to ensure that the law applies to everybody. Irumba told the Commission of Inquiry into Land Matters that politicians and officials in the Prime Minister's office frustrated his efforts to resolve the wrangle. When, without notice, the OPM actually brought these people from uh, so-called Ugandan returnees from Tanzania and settled them on my land. Irumba filed his complaint with the land inquiry in March this year. Now he says he lives in fear since the matter has not been resolved. So my life has been under serious threat since the hearing uh, of, of my petition by the land commission. Irumba returned to the commission and accused the minister for disaster preparedness and the refugees, Hilary Onek, of intimidating and threatening him. Uh, to my surprise when I called him, he verbally, verbally attacked me and, and told me that I was an enemy of the state and, and a rogue. I, I found that very shocking. He submitted to the commission the recordings of a telephone conversation he had with the minister Onek. Remember, if you are not cooperative with us, with government, and you are fighting us, now how can I give you again protection? So you mean you want? Let me be, let me be honest with you. I'm not very comfortable. So you, know, you are a rogue. I don't I don't agree with you. And so therefore, you, you now look after your own security. Office, your office is planning to kill me. That you look after your own security so because you don't so you don't trust office, in so government. So you are you don't you are, you are officers and yourself are planning. You, you 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 don't trust government. Therefore, so you now look after yourself. So you are you planning don't give you security. Because I'm facing what for my property. Nobody is planning anything. That's exactly you, what you, you are. We have left you to look after your own thank security. You, thank you. Okay. Thank you look you. after your own security. Go and look after your own police. Thank you, you are fighting us. Thank you for being honest. That you are planning to kill me because I've actually objected. I've never said I'm planning to kill you. Why should I kill you? Well, I'm not. You are very stupid, you. man. You cannot just say that it's thank you. Thank you for what? It's a sad day when a minister pours water on the very institution that is set up by his boss. The Commission Chairperson Justice Catherine Bamgamerire then issued criminal summons against Sonek for contempt of the Commission. Engineer Hilary Onek and the, mm. the Secretary will ensure that summons are served on him to appear before us sometime next week. Justice Bamgamerire says some powerful people have disrespected the Commission and evicted people even after the Commission had stopped them. This is not just about Mr. Irumba. As we speak now, Major Kijambuha in, in Mubende is searching to rearrest our witnesses. As we speak now, our witnesses in Mubende are being arrested for fictitious charges. As we speak now, our witnesses in Hoima are being arrested and are continually victimized and charged with offenses like aggravated robbery. All, all because they filed complaints before the commission and the commission is in the process of investigating their matters. I think this continual victimization of our witnesses is unacceptable. The minister here on Nek is expected to appear before the commission on Tuesday next week. Jingo Francis, NTV.